Hello again. I thought it would be fun if we first start with a previous question paper from 2021 June. This one is from the Eastern Cape. But this I want us to use as a learning tool. It's got some nice things within it. Okay, so we're going to start with question 1.1. Where it says the strip chart in Annex B shows the distance between Cape Town and Springbok. Answer the questions below based on the map. All right, so this is our strip chart over here, and it is right. So you can see it's from Cape Town all the way to Springbok, right from the bottom there. And how do we read the strip chart? The way we read the strip chart is we make sure that. We're reading, it depends on where we're reading. So, okay, the distances from the left are giving us the distance from Springbok to Cape Town. And the ones on the right are giving us from Cape Town to all the way to Springbok, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to read from Cape Town. So, if I were to travel from Cape Town to Malmesbury, I would have traveled 52 kilometers, right? So, from Cape Town to maybe Citrusdale, for example, it's 161 kilometers and from Cape Town to all the way to uh, Fanhainsdorp, then I can read the distance there's 289 and right up until if I go to Springbok I say it's 547 the distance from Cape Town to Springbok. Now the problem starts when they say what if I started from Milesbury right and I didn't start from Cape Town and I go all the way to Springbok. What is the distance there? So what I'm supposed to do now is say I didn't start from zero and therefore I cannot say it's 547, right? Look at this. You can't say from Cape Town to Springbok it's 547 and then say from Malisbury to Springbok it's 547, right? You can't say that. But what you can do is say I start counting from 52. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 547 minus 52 and I'm going to get the distance from there, right? And then if I want the distance from, let's say, ah, this, the names are so difficult for me to read, um, Cape Town, no, let's say from Citrusdale to Malesbury, and then I'm going to say, okay, it's 161 minus 52, and then I can get the distance there, right? But some of the towns, the distance is written in between the towns. For example, from Clayn William, to Lambert's Bay, it's written right there. The name of the road is R364, but the distance from those two towns is 60 kilometers. So, but before we try the top, the, the, the questions, I just want to point out that when you get a map, there are certain things that you need to look for. And one of them is the direction of the north, right? This one has the north facing up. Okay, so we know where north is. Another thing is, does it have a scale? Yes, no, okay. If we know the scale, then we read the scale, okay? We understand the scale, but this one does not have a scale, right? And then another one is, does it have a key? A key would be somewhere uh, on the map, and it will tell us, for example, it would have been telling us what these uh, circles mean, right? Again, this one does not have a key, so we're just going to move on from that. So let's attempt the questions. What is the distance between Cape Town and Springbok in meters? Okay. What is the distance between Cape Town all the way to Springbok in meters? First of all, this one is in kilometers, but I'm going to write that first. I'm going to write as it is first, and then I'm going to worry about this meter thing they're talking about. Okay, so 1.1, the distance is 5, 4, 7 kilometers, right? They say, no, we don't want it in meters. We gave it to you in kilometers. We want it in meters. Fine. 5, 4, 7 from small to big, from big to small, yes, multiplied by um, one with three zeros. And that would be five, four, seven, and three zeros. Meters. Done. 1.1.2. Okay, so 1.1.2 says, which national roads are shown on this map? Now, in order to know that, we have to come back to the map. I see N14 there, I see N7, the N stands for national, and that's all I see. Those are the only Ns I see. The rest are regional roads. Can you see that? That's R64, that's R45, so those are regional roads. So I saw N14, I also saw N7. 1.1.3. 
how many regional roads are on this map so let's go with the map and let's just start from the beginning i'm just going to scan through and see if i see any regional roads written there um that one is a national road that one's a national road there that one they didn't give me the name of that one or that one so i'm just going to go down i see r27 one r64 i see r64 i see r44 that's three r45 that's four one two three four yes r27 is r27 well that's the same road so i see one two three four roads right i see four um hope i'm right r45 r44 r64 r27 okay I think that's all I see.